Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. For lovers of musical instruments, and particularly pianos, I'm going to show you how to place a custom name and logo on an elegant piano and then dramatically light it. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. I provided a PSD file for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. Included is this guide for the vanishing point feature we'll be using. This guide takes into account the piano's perspective as well as the radial distortion from a camera's 45 to 60 millimeter close-up lens. In addition, there's a text template, a logo, and a template for two initials. Click on the text template to make it active and open your type tool. I'm using Trajan Pro Regular. If you'd like to use this font, you can download it from the link I provided. If you're not sure how to install fonts, watch my tutorial on how to do this. I provided that link as well. I'm using a point size of 20, smooth, center text, and the color is white. Highlight Blue Lightning TV and type out your text. Make the top initial active. For the initials, I'm using French Script MT, which I also provided. I'm using a point size of 40. Highlight the letter and type out an initial that's relevant to the first letter of the name you typed out. Make the second initial active, highlight it, and type out a letter. Let's prepare our logo and text for the vanishing point feature. Make the top layer active and go to the name you typed out. Shift click on it to highlight all the layers between it and the top layer. Click on the icon at the top right corner and choose Convert to Smart Object. Press Ctrl A on a PC or Command A on a Mac and then Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Press Ctrl or Command D to delete the selection. Click off the eyeball of the Smart Object to hide it and make your text guide visible and active. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. Go to Filter and Vanishing Point. The Vanishing Point window will open and the Create Plane tool should be highlighted. With a grid size of 100, click down on the lower left of the yellow guide, lift up, and move your cursor to the lower right corner and click down. Lift up again and click down on the upper right corner. Lift up and click on the upper left corner. You should see a blue grid. Press Ctrl or Command V to paste your logo and text into the grid. When you click on it and drag it in, it immediately conforms to the perspective of the grid. To resize it, click on the Transform tool, go to a corner, and when you see that straight double arrow, press and hold Shift as you size it larger or smaller. It will retain its aspect ratio as long as you're holding down shift. When you're happy with the size, click inside to reposition it. Then click OK. Hide the text guide layer and open your gradient tool. Click on the gradient box to open the gradient editor and click on the lower left stop. Click on the color box and make the hue and saturation 0 and the brightness 60%. Click on the lower right stop, the color box, and make the brightness between 90 to 95%. Close both windows and control click or command click on layer 1 to make a selection of the text and logo in the layer. Now we can drag the layer to the trash since we have its selection. Make a new layer, go to the left side of the selection, and drag the gradient tool to the right side. Then delete the selection. Notice the logo and the text are now filled with the gradient we made. Next, let's blur the left and right sides of the text to simulate a subtle depth of field of a camera's lens. Open your blur tool and choose a medium to large brush with a hardness of 
The blend mode is normal and the strength is 100%. Brush once over the first few letters to blur them and brush over the last few letters as well. We're ready to add some dramatic lighting to focus our attention on the logo and text. First, make a composite snapshot by pressing Control shift alt e on a PC or Command shift option e on a Mac. Go to Filter, Render, and Lighting Effects. The Lighting Effects window will open. If you're unable to access Lighting Effects, it may be due to one or some of the reasons I listed in the video's description. Choose Spotlight and slide the color intensity, which makes the inside of the rings brighter or darker. I chose 35. Go to Hotspot, which makes the inner ring larger or smaller. For this, I chose 40. Ambiance makes the entire image brighter or darker. I chose 40 again. Pull out the outer ring scale width and rotate it around. Then pull out the outer ring scale length. Click inside to move both rings. I think I'd like to increase the size of the hotspot, so I'll slide it to the right to 76. Then click OK. Enjoy giving a custom name piano to someone special or someone who just loves listening to music. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.